Hello people of the net, what's going on? I am the Mighty Blio 2, welcome back to another video. In today's video I am going to be showing you the team I have used to qualify for foot champions this week. Let me give you guys a little bit of context. For the last two or three weeks I have been going ham in the weekend league. I think every time I've tried, I've been trying four or five times every week, I've got to the final and lost in the final. It, it, it honestly feels like my account is rigged. But this week it is 5 to 11 on uh, Monday morning right now. So I did it pretty much straight away. I finally qualified. I'm, I'm so happy. Um, I think this will be my second or third foot champions uh, weekend league. Uh, I, I've not done too badly in the others though. I just cut it. It's like um, a lot of people are saying it's not the best way to qualify because a lot of people do struggle to win four games in a row. Anyway. This is a team I used. It is absolutely unbelievable. It will cost you guys around 125 to 150k. Um, I'm going to start off on the bench though. I've gone with quite a low rated bench. Um, obviously I have three bronzes and then I've just gone with these dudes because they don't really affect the rating and they, they just look better. This informed Dwight Gale is a machine. Honestly, I think with a hunter card it goes up to about... Uh, 90, 98 pace and 94 shooting. So he is absolutely unbelievable. Um, what I tend to do is, if I'm losing or drawing in sort of the 65th, 70th minute, bring him on, get a fresh pair of legs on, just play the through balls and one-on-one, -on -one, he won't miss anything for you guys. He is unbelievable. Uh, and then... The only other gold sub I have is um, Team of the Group Stage, Kasper Schmeichel, who I got in a, a two-player pack, so he is untradeable. Um, it's always good for me to have a goalkeeper on the bench, just in case you know yours gets sent off. You don't want to end up with um, either a bronze dude or an outfield player in net. Uh, Schmeichel, if you guys aren't too bothered about chemistry, you could put him in the team. He is a very good keeper, um, especially with the goal chemistry style. But jumping into the starting 11 now, we go with the usual, you know, you, you guys already know, Jack Butland, this guy is a machine, he is so goddamn good, 6 foot 5, 81 diving, 85 reflexes, 83 handling and 79 positioning. I do believe they're the only 4 stats that matter on a keeper and a glove does boost the diving, handling and positioning, so it makes him about 10 times better. So cheap as well. Joining him, making the uh, the centre of defence, we go with Chris Smalling and Eric Bailly. You guys know how much I love this trio at the back. It's just so solid. Chris Smalling, I played 87 games with now. Same with Butland, and Bailly has 92 games. They're just so good. Bailly with that 81 pace, I don't think that needs boosting. I've put a backbone on him just because I do like to pass it out from the back. And uh, that does improve his passing. Smalling, you know, you could put a uh, an anchor on him if you want. Again, I don't think he needs any chem style. Six foot four with seventy seven pace, he's going to be winning you everything. At left back, we do go with Cesar Azpilicueta. a very underrated card this year, in my opinion. Uh, he is right footed, which can be quite annoying playing on the left. Um, he's not the fastest, but he's got such a well rounded card. 79 pace is all right because um, you'll see what I do in the instructions and custom tactics later. The defending is very good. Dribbling and passing, both good. Physical, I would like to be a bit higher, but honestly, you don't notice it. You could put a camp style on there if you want, but I don't think you need to. I barely notice it. And then at right back, I believe we go with a Bundesliga card. Yep, Lucas Piszczek. You guys uh, have seen me using my squads before. 81 defending, 80 physical. Pretty good for a right back. You could boost it, um, make him really good. 79 pace. Again, I prefer him to stay back, so that is all right. 74 dribbling, 73 passing. Both very good. And 66 shooting. That's a stat that stands out to me. Uh, the last card I had before I sold him and then re-bought him. I think he had about 10 goals for me, and they were all long shots um, shooting across his body. He's absolutely brilliant at that. Then the uh, 
central midfield trio, we do go with Gonzalo Castro, Renato Sanchez, and N'Golo Kante. Three brilliant, three absolutely unbelievable midfielders. I think everyone this year has realised how good Kante is. 28k for an 81 rated player, it seems ridiculous. If you haven't played with him, you may be wondering why people pay that amount for him. He's brilliant. He holds the midfield down. He can control the tempo of the game, makes brilliant passes. He's got a banging long shot on him as well. Actually, especially with Maestro, which does boost his, uh, his three lowest stats. Then uh, Renato Sanchez. Again, very good. Uh, he was about 20k at one point, I think. He's gone down to about 5k now. Every single stat above 70. With an artist to boost that passing and dribbling, he becomes... I like to call him a cheap Modric. He is brilliant. Um, again, can control the tempo, makes good runs, and most importantly, runs in behind the defence and gets one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. That is what I love. Um, I tend to get my central centimetre to stay back, but with this team, I kind of told uh, Kante to stay back and then uh, Sanchez to get forward a bit more. And Gonzalo Castro. I absolutely love this guy. Um, he the third game, the semi final, he got one goal uh, and three assists, and then in the final, he got he scored two free kicks. I think his free kicks are unbelievable. Um, yeah, very very good card. Uh, that one yellow, he he doesn't tend to get booked. He uh, his tackling is very good. That one yellow card was stupid by me. That's when I was losing, um, and then I came back. Uh, I'd been very poor that game uh, up until. About the about the uh, start of the second half, and uh, his play passed, and I slid in with Castro afterwards. To be honest, I was lucky not to get a red. Anyway, jumping into the right forward position, we go with ones to watch Mbolo, the most expensive player in the team. But my God, is he worth it? I have used this guy before, and then uh, I sold him. I, I just I I had to buy him back. He's too good. Um, what I did do the last time was I put a bronze striker on and then straight away took him off, put player of the month Sterling on and then uh, Mbolo at striker because he is brilliant there. But a right forward, he does a job as well. Um, you'll see what I do again later in the instructions. Uh, six foot one, so he's very tall. 88 pace, 80 shooting, 82 physical. All get boosted with a hawk. He, he just becomes a machine. One on one, brilliant. Long shots, Brilliant. Finesse shots, brilliant. Passing, brilliant. One-on-ones, brilliant. There's just nothing wrong with him. Uh, I know nick 28 t loves him as well. So, uh, I, if you guys have the coins, do use him. Left wing, we do go with Kingsley Coman. A very good card. Um, I have used before. The physical was always a bit low for me, but I think playing in this, um, in this team... Allows him to make the runs he needs to. So he doesn't need physical. He can just pace it past everyone. Uh, didn't get any goals for me. Um, but again helped him passing it around the box. Um, playing it to Mbolo and the striker who you will see in a minute. Just a very solid card. And created so many chances for the team. And then the striker we do go with is the sweaty god himself. In form Timo Werner. This guy is a little bit less than uh, Mbolo, 61.5k I got him for. He's going for probably uh, about that now. M knowing my luck with trading, he will have gone down. Six games, 10 goals, 5 assists. This guy, I cannot describe how good this guy is. That 4 star weak foot, if you guys watch uh, AA9, you'll know how much of a fan of the weak foot he is this year. And I have to say, after using Werner, I agree with him. Uh, with that pace, boosted by Hawk as well, you can get him behind. The shooting is fantastic. I think that goes up to about an 84. And then the physical gets boosted to a 72 as well. I always like my striker to have at least 75 physical, just because it is so important this year. But it doesn't make a difference with Werner. Play the through ball, he gets him behind, one-on-one, -on -one, bang, goal. Finesse shot, bang, goal. His long shots, I scored an incredible goal with his uh, his left foot, I think. From uh, probably around 25 yards out, just banged it, top bins. 
absolutely brilliant. If you guys haven't used him, I would highly recommend it along with Mbolo. So there is a team, guys. Jumping into the player instructions, here's what I told them to do. Centre-backs and keeper. Well, keeper obviously I have to leave. But the centre-backs, I leave. Full-backs, as per usual, stay back while attacking. The midfield, I uh, I did leave, actually. And it didn't make a difference. Kante, if you really wanted to, you could get him to uh, stay back while attacking. But I like him getting forward because, as I said, his long shot is brilliant. And he makes insane passes. Kingsley Coman and Mbolo. Um, I left uh, the same just getting behind, which uh, allows them to get one on one with the keeper and uh, get on uh, or get into the box. And then Werner getting behind again, but stay central. You don't want your striker drifting wide because then you've got no one uh, in or around the area. So getting to stay central and getting behind is going to run in behind the back line and finish off the chances for you. And then custom tactics, again, just leave the same uh, apart from defender line. Offside trap is awful, you get caught out so many times. Always set that to cover. And one thing I have started doing recently as well is um, auto assign player roles just so uh, EA can judge who's best at what and then change it. Typically, uh, Castro in this team, he's just so good, look at that. Apart from penalties, he is the best at everything. Uh, I did put Mbolo on pens, actually. Um, and, yeah, one final tip for you guys using this team. As soon as you get in the game, go to defensive and counter-attack. Um, Kez Brown, from the Spencer FC Gaming Academy, has his own channel. Um, I, I watched his video, uh, one of his Foot Champions videos, and I saw him, noticed him doing that, and it does help so much. Um... Your team isn't all over the place, you know, it sits back deeper and then when it gets the ball, bang, those front three are going to make the runs, the midfield's going to spread out, it's, it's, it works so well, it's so effective this year. Anyway, I'm going to stop going on. If you guys did enjoy the video, make sure you leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already, thanks for watching, you guys are the best.